believe in me, though he dies, yet shall he live again. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Man that is born of a woman has but a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower, and he is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow. We are going to and commit not. He won't be nothing into this world. We are and it is certain that we should take nothing out. We are going to I am the resurrection he won't be no and the life. We are he who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live again. And whosoever live and believe in me shall never die. Man that is born of a woman has but a few days and full of trouble. He cometh forth like a flower we are and is cut down. He fleeth also as a shadow and continueth not. We brought nothing into this world and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave and the Lord has taken away. Bless be the name I'll of the Lord. I'll bury my house. No more dying day. We are going. We are going to see the king. No more dying day. No more dying day. We are going to see the king. Hallelujah. 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 We're going to see the king. Soon and very soon. Soon and very soon. We are going. We are
Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give God a praise. Let's give him a praise up in here. Thank you, Jesus. Ah. Ah. As we began to pray, we want the family to remain seated and those that are able, friends, let's stand and invoke his presence. Amen, amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come before you once again first to say thank you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit, into this place. God, we need you as a comforter to comfort this family and their friends. God, we bless your holy name. Now we ask that you give us the ability to be those pillars that you have planted around them. Strengthen our shoulders that they may lay their heads upon them. Anoint our arms to embrace them and bless our hands to be a help to them. We know you to be the strength that you are. And God, we are thanking you for allowing us to be in a celebration service. And while we are celebrating you, we want you to get glory. And we want you to get honor. For it is in Jesus' name we do pray. Thank God. Amen, amen. Our scripture is by Deacon Ricky Glover. The Old Testament scripture. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birthday. Amen? A New Testament scripture. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. I read for you. St. John, the 14th chapter, the first three verses, in the King James Version, the word of the Lord for the people of the Lord and for those who are seeking the Lord. Amen, amen. Come on, let's give it up for Jesus. Come on, let's give it up for Jesus. Ah, we thank you on this day going to have a selection from the Walker Temple Choir. Then we're going to have our reflections as a nephew, Eric Gaines, as a sister, Harriet Gaines, as a grandchild, the grandchildren. Let us come in that order, choir.
Come on, put your hands together. How many know trouble don't last always? Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I know, I know that I know, I know. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. He may not come when you want him, but he's on time. In times of trouble, I found him to be a friend of mine. Some clouds may rise in your life. He'll be there. Be there. All of my burden, Lord, help me to bear. To bear. Yeah. He may not come when you want him, but he's on time. In times of trouble, I found him to be a friend of mine. Some clouds may rise in your life. He'll be there. All of my burdens, Lord, help me to bear. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. Weep in May. Weep in May. Endure for night. Keep the faith. It will be. Weep in May. Oh, yeah. Keep the faith. It will be. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, put those hands together if you know trouble, don't let. Oh, come on, Zion. Come on, put those hands together. Come on and clap with us. Hey, trouble don't last. Trouble don't last away. I know that trouble don't last always. I know that trouble don't last away. I know that trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last away. I know that trouble don't last always. I know that trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last always. I know that trouble don't last always. You may have to cry sometimes, you may have to moan sometimes, but I'm here to let you know. We've been making to a full night, but joy, 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 but 
don't let the I know that trouble trouble don't let I know that I, 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 I know that I, 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 hey trouble don't let trouble don't let I know that trouble don't last always. Yeah. yeah, I know you're moaning right now, but I'm here to let you know God is with you. God is for you. God will lift you up. Trouble don't last always. Trouble don't last. Trouble don't last. Trouble don't last. Will be, be a we been made enjoy keep the faith it will be a Come on, come on. Aren't you glad that trouble don't last always? I don't know about you, but I was in something one time. And I'm glad that it's not lasted always. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just have a correction that uh the sister Harriet Gaines is not in the house, but we have Cynthia Jones. Now, they got in here in parentheses, Big Cent. Now, that means she's older, not wider. Ah, right, y'all ain't gonna talk back to me. Ah, come on, come on, it's celebration time. It's celebration time. Let's celebrate the creator, the savior, and the Holy Ghost. Ah, ah, ah. I wonder how we say celebrate. When you look at the word funeral, there's two words in that. And the root word is fun. Ah, y'all ain't gonna talk back to me now. And the other word in it is real. So let's have some real fun as we celebrate this coach, this father. He was a father to the community. Come on, come on now. Let's celebrate. Ha, ha. Ah, let's not be the spectator, but let's let's cheer, let's cheer this family on. Ha, ha, ha. And we are grateful today. As a nephew, again, Eric Gaines, as a sister, Miss Cynthia Jones, and as a grandchild the grandchildren let's come in that order hallelujah this family I ain't gonna say three minutes but I smell some chicken back there and uh nephew are you ready
Come on, let's get a nephew. Ah. He was a great man, a great uncle. I, I had the pleasure of working with him in uh, the gun night. He taught me everything that I know, and I wouldn't be the man I am today if it wasn't for him and my daddy. Uh, it's, it's hard. This was a rough week for me, no work. Shut my all my work down. Uh, it's I don't. Know. I had the pleasure of, like I said, working with him. He taught me how to uh, finish, how to be a leader. Uh, I was I've been leading crews all my life, and I guess that's a good thing, <laughs> all, the, all the authority and everything on you and stuff. Uh, when we were little kids, he had me, my brother, my cousins, uh, the Little League football, stuff like that. He had all of us in it, doing everything. Anytime I had a problem or, or anything, he would somehow call me out the blue. Nephew, you all right? <laughs> he had a nickname for me. He gave me a nickname, Cool. Everybody called me that to this day. And uh, this is going to be hard for me, but uh, we're going to continue to talk. I'm going to talk to him all the time like I used to. And I love him. That's pretty much it. Come from St. Matthew. 
11th chapter. I'm going to read to you 28, 29, and 30. I got a big mouth, so. Uh, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. This is red letter edition, so this is Jesus speaking, okay? Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Call on him. He'll ease all your pain and agony. Now to my big brother, Carly. That's what I called him. I don't know what everybody else called him, but all my life, I threw that Lee on there for some reason. He was bruh, and I was baby sis. When he came into my life, there was no wife, there was no children, or grandchildren, or none of the greats of grands. He was my big brother, Carly. He took me in his arms, and I was always his baby sis. He had pet names for all of us. Eric just told you that, gave him one. I remember the times we spent because I was everywhere he went. I was there, I'm telling you. I was at everybody's house. Then he met and he married this beautiful woman sitting here up front. I got wife here, but that's what she is. Our sister-in-law, the D-D, T-H-E-E, D-D because that's who she was to him. The woman that he loved so much, and that's such a loving touch. Then along came some children. Woo, here come them children now. To their union. And his firstborn daughter, <laughs> y'all don't know. He told his wife, look, Mm -mm, you ain't naming my child all them names I can't pronounce. You got them names, I don't know where you get them from, but you better get her a name that I know. One that's simple that I've been calling on, and that was Cynthia. Baby sis. I received the honor of being a namesake auntie her whole life. And that has made me so proud. Because she was truly, she made all us proud. She was truly the daughter that he imagined that he would have. And that's another story. I ain't going there. I have y'all here all day. Anyway, I'm going to make this short and sweet because I can keep y'all here all day. I really can't tell you the stories and the times I shared with my big brother, Carly. Let y'all know a secret. I'm 68 years old, so you know how many years I had with my brother. He, all, he will always hold a very special place in my heart for him and him alone. He is, the, he is running neck and neck with my father, Squire. Y'all know who he is. And now he's resting peacefully in the arms of God. And yes, I know that, just like I told y'all when I walked up here, because I asked God and God told me so. He got my brother. He was too good of a man for him not to have him. So family, I'm here to say, have your moments to grieve, because ain't nothing wrong with that. But always overshadow and overshower those moments with the beautiful memories that I know all of you have of my big brother Carly. God bless you. Keep all of you safe. It's my prayer. And I thank you, family. Love you.
Check. Dad, Pop, my granddaddy, was the first example for me. A man. He taught me how to lead. He taught me how to take care of what's mine. How to get out there, cut the grass, change the brakes. And he never complained. He always took care of what, what was his. His family, my grandma, and he never turned his back on us. You know, and I just want to say thank you, drummer, my uncles, my aunties, for always being there for us, never turning y'all back on us. And thank you for handpicking a wise man. A great man. And I'm forever grateful for that. And I love my family, man. And I love all y'all. I know we don't see each other much. We don't see eye to eye sometimes. But like the Bible say, love conquers all. And you cannot be considered a child of God unless you have love. Yeah. Let's continue to love each other, forgive each other, and accept each other for who we is, and be a reflection of what Dad stood for. Family, taking care of what's yours, and I run rolling with a bunch of niggas. He's, he stayed to himself, you know, and he loved his family. I love all y'all. Hello, how everybody doing? Uh, Y'all don't know, I'm Carl Well. I'm Carl Irvin Wells the third. Trey, that's why my name is Trey. I'm the third. And uh, I just wanna say, man, I love my granddaddy, man. Meant a lot to me. I'm the third, so it hold a heart. And I love him, man. He, he always had my back. He always looked out for me. No matter what nobody said, he was there for me. Do everything, and I love him. I love all y'all. My auntie, my daddy, grandma. You know, just thankful for having a family like this that always be there for you when you need them, if you call them. They'll tell you not today, call me next week, call me tomorrow, but they got you. They always got you forever and always. I don't want to say I love you, Pop. I love, I love, man. It's love. All right, I'm TJ. Everybody should know me, but uh, I just want to say I appreciate him. Everything he did for me, you know. I really ain't talk a lot, but I just knew he loved me, and it was just a bond I couldn't break with him. Every morning, waking me up to school, them good breakfasts, <laughs> waking up, uh, he making sure I got dressed, making sure I was on, leaving out the dorm time, uh, elementary, making sure I'm on the bus, get there, come back home. Uh, after, after every practice or something, I get injured. I just go over there. I ain't got to go to the hospital. I go to him. He had fixed me up, but I used to sit on the side of his bed, just watch the games, and just talk about sports or anything he used to pop up with, tell me about anything out of the past, and I just uh, used to suck it in, you know. And I just appreciate him. I really appreciate him. I love him. I love him to death. It's, it's tough for me right now because I don't even know where to, where to start at or I had to break down and accept everything, but I love it. Good 
morning, my name is Annie, well, known as Nimi, first and favorite granddaughter, <laughs> you know, but um, I lost more than anybody up here. And to see my grandma in the front breaks my heart. But I just want you to know behind you, you have all your children, Amen. all your grandchildren, Amen. every last one of them. Amen. I always took pride in not losing my family, and you know, even though I lost a lot of friends. But without my family, I don't know where I would be. And without faith, I don't know where I would be. A praying mother, I don't know where I would be. And no matter what I did, long as Pop and Dee Dee was all right with it, it didn't matter. And Lord knows I did a lot. And in Pop eyes, Nene ain't did nothing. So I'ma just miss the dolphin slander. You know, him talking about the dolphins. You know, I love sports because of Pop. And I say uh, he's a strong man, but not because of his physical ability, because Pop was always 50. But as long as I remember, Pop didn't age, he didn't. But to deal with my grandma all them years and put up with Uncle Junior, he was a strong man. And he loved us. We all had our own bond with him, and we're going to miss him. And I love you, Pop. That's my guy. I love you, Pop. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm Fat. That was the nickname my family gave me. Um, so what I want to say is one thing about my granddaddy, like my cousin said, he always made sure all of us got to school, good breakfasts, each and every one of us, from my cousin, my sister, <laughs> any football game. Anything we had going on, he made sure he was there. Any graduation, he was present. So for that, I'm gonna forever be grateful. I'm gonna forever have those memories. And family, I love y'all. Hi everybody, I'm Deanna. I'm actually the favorite grandchild. I don't know what she's talking about. Um, to most of us up here, he wasn't just a grandfather. He was like a second or third parent in reality. He was so proud of us, and that just means the world to us. Whether he said it or like whether we heard it, we knew he was proud of us. We knew he loved us. From the time my mom went back from maternity leave, I was with him. I was his child. <laughs> All the way up until I started driving to high school, I was his baby. I used to sleep in his beds in the morning. Can nobody else do that but me? I used to have bacon. They didn't. So, yeah. I'm going to miss you, Grandpa. But the last time we talked, you said you wanted that certificate with that gold seal. And I promise you, I got that. Love you. Good evening, everyone. I'm Toya, the oldest granddaughter. They done summed it up pretty much said everything. He was an amazing grandfather to us, an awesome husband to my favorite grandma, the favorite granddaughter of hers. Um, he did everything for us, everything for his kids, everything. He loved family. Again, all of us had our own different bond with him. Pop, we're going to miss you. A job well done. Definitely is. He lived his life. And D, I want you to know that on me, all of us, we got you. We got you. You get called, you know, I call you more than any of them every day, five times a day. And um, we're going to just continue to keep you going because at the end of the day, Dad, he, he good. He okay. And again, we just got to push through. Push through. Keep pushing, praying until something happens. Oh, um, that's pretty much it. Mm. 
Good morning, good morning. My name is Johnson Murray. More of my family know me as, when I was a kid, big boy or tigger. I don't really got that much to say, but I just would like to say, I remember when me and dad had those life talks. Every time I come from school, my mom be dropping me off there. Sometimes I see him, I always say good morning. Like every time I see a smile on his face, I always think, is that smile ever gonna last or is that ignition ever gonna burn? Because he sat down to talk to me one day. He said to always appreciate life for what it is. Even if it's short, even if it's long, or maybe in between. He was not just a father or a grandfather to me. He was a king. He was a king that stood above all. A king that stood above all things that took him down. And I stand before my family today and my beautiful mother. My cousins, my nephews, my sisters, my brothers. Dad, I love you. And I appreciate everything you taught me. Can I please get an amen, please? Beautiful. <laughs> TJ called police <laughs> to that. Man, dad came in there and beat, beat us. <laughs> we was all under the bed trying to hide for that woman, boy. <laughs> and we act like we were all, somebody was robbing the house. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a praise. Let's give the Lord a praise. The life that he lived was his eulogy. And just sitting there listening, his life, his legacy, and as I look over the audience, all I see is love. Let's give it up for those grandbabies. Spoke from their hearts. That's proof. If you train them up, in the way that they should go. Ah, when they get my age, they won't depart from it. Come on, let's give it up. Let's give it up. Ah, we thank and praise God for the family, to the wife, to the children, the grand, great grand, the great 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 grand, to all of the in-laws, we are grateful and thankful for this day being what it is. The scripture that was read, mourn when they come in this world, but we ought to rejoice when they are leaving a world where there are disappointing people, where there are, the list can go on, whatever you put in the dash. No more appointments, 
No more doctor visits. No more pain. And we thank God for the love that he had for his family and the love that the family had for him. We're going to have a selection from the Walker Temple. Then we're going to have acknowledgments from Mitchell Funeral Home staff. And then this woman of God going to come up with words of comfort. We thank God for her. Come on, let's give it up. We pray that God give her the strength that she needs to be an encourager to us and to comfort her family. We thank and praise God for Evangelist Cynthia Wells Jones, his daughter. Come on, come on, come on. When she get up, let's reverence the woman of God and the word of God by resting to our feet. Amen. And she going to come in her own way. I promise you if you say, speak, Lord. Because he's speaking through her. And he's speaking to us that remain. I promise if you give her an amen or a thank you, Jesus, we'll get out of here about 430. <laughs> ah, choir, are you ready? Sing us happy. Amen. Grandma, we love you. And I pray this song encourage you today. My soul is anchored. Sometimes it's hard to tell the night 
from day still that hope that lies within is reassured as I keep my eye upon that distant shore I know he'll leave me safely to that blessed place he had prepared. But if the storm don't cease and if the wind keep on blowing in my life my soul has been and God is the Lord oh, 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 oh. I realize that sometimes in this life we're gonna be torn by the waves and the currents that seem so fierce but in the word of God I got an anchor that keeps me steadfast and the movable sometimes in this life but if the storm don't see and just in case the wind yeah, keep on blowing in my life my soul, my soul, in the Lord, the Lord, the Lord, Lord, my soul is anchored, my soul is anchored. My soul is anchored, yeah, yeah. My soul is anchored. My soul, he caught over us. Hey, my soul is anchored. Yeah, whoa. Oh. Billows may roll, breakers may dash. I shall not sway because he holds me back. Go out the day. The clouds in the sky, I know it's alright, cause Jesus is mine, my soul, my soul, my, 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 through the storm and rain, the aches and pain, I know that my God will send the land to rain. Through my ups and downs When I frown I know that I'm standing On holy ground My soul 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 My my, 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 my soul, Woo! my soul, my, my, my soul. My soul. I don't 
don't care what you're going through, my soul. has been anchored in Now, if your soul is anchored in the Lord, I think you ought to give him some praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. My soul, it didn't say my friend, it didn't say my spouse, but it said my soul, my soul. Ah, what profit a man to gain this whole world and lose his soul. Ah, we are grateful today. We are grateful today. We are grateful today. We don't call this a loss when you know where they are. Ah, acknowledgments from Mitchell Funeral Home. Acknowledging the Almighty to the pastor Owings and to this grieving bereaved family, the Wells family. Mother Wells, as I look back on life today, I think about a state that had not been hit with a hurricane over 50 years took a disaster hit. I look at another state that homes were burned to the ground. I think about law enforcement killing a 21 year pregnant young lady that was black. I'm reminded of the words of a hemologist who once wrote in times like these, we need a savior. In times like these, we need an anchor. Be sure, be very sure your anchor grips and holds 
the solid rock. You see, this rock is Jesus. Yes, he's the one. This rock is Jesus, the only one. Be sure. Be very sure. Your anchor grips and holds the solid rock. You see, when peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well. It is well with my soul. The members of this grieving, bereaved family are desirous of having you, their many friends, to know that they're grateful indeed for all acts and deeds of kindness shown them during this their sad hour of bereavement. The cards, letters, telegrams are much too numerous to mention at this time, for we will not attempt to. But as you might note, they're in the valley now. And our hearts are so heavy, labeled with grief. So I'm only asking that you be patient with them, for I'm sure they will thank you, both personally and collectively, when the time is more opportune. Servant of God, well done. Rest from thy love employed. The battle is fought. The victory is won. Enter thy master's joy. A voice at midnight came. Carl started up to hear. A mortal arrow pierced his frame. He fell, but felt no fear. And now by special request, presentation of floral remembrance. Family weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. This beautiful flower says to the whales, I extend my deepest condolences for your loss. May God grant you peace during this difficult time. You are in my thoughts and prayers. Love, Stasia. With heartfelt sympathy, the beautiful st green plant from Audrey Bostic and family. This beautiful standing spray says our hearts are with you and your family. We're here for you. Your assurance family. This beautiful arrangement with heartfelt sympathy from Josh Gaines and family. This beautiful arrangement says our hearts are with you and your family. We're here for you. Again, your assurance family. The beautiful living plant with sincere sympathy from the woman, young woman Christian Council, YWCA, Ramona Hardy. With deepest sympathy to Cynthia and family, our thoughts and prayers are with you from Eunice Porter and family. This green plant with sincere sympathy from the Chipman family. This arrangement, this plant, is from the Walker Temple Church of God in Christ, Bible Band and Missionary Board. Pastor Dr. Kevin Owens, and church mother, Mother Betty Smith. And family, this says it all. All the love that you can show on this side of the River Jordan. It simply says, brother, dad, granddaddy, husband, we love you, but God love you best. The castle spray, members of the Marie family. To the Wells family, I'm sure Brother Carl would have you to know that when I've changed my address to heaven and I've crossed the great divide, there'll be no pains nor sorrows when I've reached the other side. For I'll be so happy to get there, for the Lord himself 
I'll see when I've changed my address to heaven. That's the place where you can find me. When I've changed my address to heaven, I will bid this world goodbye. I will live forever with Jesus in my beautiful home beyond the sky. I'll have no heartaches, no burdens, and from tears I shall be free. When I've changed my address to heaven, come on up, my dear wife. That's the place where you can find me. So family, as we so gently tuck his body away, whisper the words softly and say, good night, beloved, good night. For I'll see you in the morning in God's marvelous light. Good night, beloved, and take thy rest. For we love you dearly, for a man called Jesus loved you best. Good night. On behalf of the Mitchell Funeral Home and staff, we thank you. in the name of Jesus as I stand before my father and everyone here my family friends I just pray that you give me the courage and the strength to do this hallelujah Lord God have your way in and through me have your way Lord God I give your name all the glory all the honor and all the praise even today we thank you in advance Lord God for what you're doing and what you're about to do thank God in Jesus name amen you may be seated I'm going to come before you today. You've heard someone, you heard my cousin speak as an uncle. You heard my namesake, auntie, speak as a sister, his sibling. And then you also heard his grandchildren speak as a grandchild. I'm here to stand before you. I'm going to speak as a husband and as a father. And then I'm also going to give some words of comfort. And I'm going to talk about a checklist of a great man amongst many men. This assessment evaluation is now in session. We're gonna call this session to order. There's so much I can say about my dad, our father, Pop, but for the sake of time, I will touch on just a few characteristics of a great husband and father that illustrates the shell of this great man, my father, our dad that lay before us today. A great man, he's caring. He's one that puts the wants and needs of others before his own. A great man, he's confident, he's self-assured of his abilities and qualities in everything that he does. He doesn't second guess what he needs to do. He's confident in everything that he needs to do. He's courageous, meaning that he's not deterred by danger or pain. He's very brave, he's strong. A great man is dependable. We all know this. You've heard it. It's been spoken of. He's trustworthy and reliable. A great man. He's a protector. My father, my mom's husband, he was a great protector, one who kept us safe from harm or danger. And a great man is a provider, one that gave us everything we needed, everything that we wanted. He supplied us with it, and he made adequate preparations for others as well. So Mr. Carwell Sr. exemplified all of these things day in and day out. Yes, he did, every day of his life. This is evident by the presentation of our family and friends that are here today, those that have spoke over him, those that have reached out, those that wanted to be here and that could not. It's evident that he exemplified all these qualities. Now, a provider and a protector are the two that stood out about our dad, our father, my mom's husband. First Timothy 5 and 8 says, tells, tells us that anyone who does not provide 
for their relatives and especially their own household has denied the faith and are worse than one who does not believe. Dad, or I'm gonna use the word pop today, I won't keep going over all of his, you know, nicknames, pop, a husband to mom for the past 55 years and six months that he was to our mom. He was a father to four girls, including myself. Now I may have been the biological firstborn, but he has two other daughters who are just as equally as much his daughters as the three that he actually birthed. So he had four girls and he had his one and only son, his namesake, my brother, Carl Wells Jr. And then he had a host of grandkids and great grandkids and we got great great on the way to a total of about 21 I might have lost count there but what I want you all to know is that my dad was the epitome of a great man amongst men yes he was he was one that applied first Timothy 5 and 8 as a believer throughout his entire life now let me explain something about my pop although he did not frequent a church building because remember the church is not where you reside in the church is in us so although my father did not frequent a church building, he knew God and believed that Jesus died for our sins and rose again, which is what makes one a true believer. So my pop was a true believer. Yes, he was. He was an example of a man that took his position as the patriarch and head of our family very serious, putting forth every effort of his existence here on earth with us to endure his family was cared for, ensure his family was cared for and provided for. And I'm, just, I'm not just talking about those monetary provisions, you know, of value. I'm talking about the ones that hold the most value, that of love, that of care, and that of support that he showed my mom and the entire family. That's the type of provisions that I'm speaking about here on today. Hallelujah. And what my dad did, or pop did, he instilled in all of us the wisdom and knowledge. And not only for us, his kids, his grandkids, he did it for his nieces, his nephews, the community in whole. He, didn't, he wasn't a selfish man. He shared his knowledge with all that he impacted or came upon. Now what Pop did when he set a high bar as a protector and provider for all his family, yes he did, and others to follow. He was big on saying to the men and young men in the family, if you out there making the babies, you better be prepared to take care of them. That's the type of Pop, hallelujah, I had, yes. You need to be a provider, and he emphasized this day in and day out. Don't be out here making families and not be prepared to take care of them. You heard a lot of them say, my pop, he provided. So he want his family to be providers. He want all of us to be providers because he was the role model of a provider and a protector of his family. Now listen, there's the saying that beside, I know they say behind, but today I'm gonna use beside. Beside every great man, there's a great woman. Aha. Uh -huh. Today I give testament of this to be true. Mom, I give you honor on today. For being the example of a great wife to pop and an amazing mother and grandmother to your kids, your grandkids, your great grandkids, and to the community too. You are another one, y'all share the love with everyone. You were not selfish, but listen here. Hallelujah, mom, you took vows over 55 years ago and you made a pledge before God that for richer or poorer, poor, mm, better or worse, in sickness and in health, until death did you part, that you would be right by Pop's side. Hallelujah. And living in a household of two parents, we watched and we witnessed those vows being carried out day in and day out. You never wavered, no matter what. Marriage isn't easy, and I know we all know that, but my mom is the role model. She's the example of staying right by your husband's side, regardless of anything, and mom, we honor you. We honor you and we salute you on today, mom. Over 25 years ago, my dad got sick. Some of you know and some of you don't. Now that was the most pain my pop ever was in. Because over the past 25 years, we're promised 70. But my dad was graced 
by God with an additional 17 years, and he never was in pain. He never was in pain. He did for himself. He still had his right mind up until the day he closed his eyes. But what I want you all to know that even when he went through that major surgery 25 years ago, had to go through rehab, learn how to walk again, learn how to be a man again, guess what? My daddy persevered and he did that, but guess who was right by his side? My mom! So mom is the role model, and dad is the, the pop is the, the role model that we want to see men, wives and husbands. That's what we want to emulate. That's what I emulate, mom. In my marriage, I see you and pop. And I pray that I can make it to the number of years that you both did. So just know, we honor you, mom, and we love you. I know we're here to lay dad to rest, but I needed to let you know that. We love you and we honor you, mom. To my siblings, my sisters, my three sisters, our assignment has been escalated to the next level. Bro, as the words to the song by one of Pop's favorite gospel groups go, the Canton Spirituals, he's depending on you. Pop has been preparing you all your life for this, bro. You've learned everything, he's taught you everything. You've been a man amongst men. You've been there for mom and pop, bro. But pop needed you to be there to see what he was doing so you can pick up what he left off to take care of mom. The torch has been turned over to you, bro. And remember the words to that song, he's depending on you. You're his namesake. And you got to carry that name. Let that legacy live, but you make sure that mom, hallelujah, and your wife is right by your side. So you and your wife just continue to make sure mom is okay just like Pop would have done. Glory to God. My sisters, we gotta continue to pray and lift one, up, lift one another up like we've always done. I heard my oldest nephew say, that was Chavius, the one that spoke first amongst the grandchildren. I don't care what not happened before today. We gotta love one another. We gotta put all differences aside. What family don't bicker? What family don't fight? But through the grace of God, and when you pray together, pray, a family that prays together, we stay together. So we got to continue to pray and lift one another up. We got to continue those traditions when we get together, especially for mom's birthday during Christmas. Our mom's birthday is on Christmas, by the way. So we're going to continue that tradition when we get together every year. All the kids, all the grandkids, we need to get to mom's house and we need to keep making it happen. Yes, we do. And to my nieces and nephews, my God. Yes, they came up and you heard them speak. I have some words to say to you that Pop would love for me to give to you all on today. To the grands and great-grandchildren, if you have already completed high school and you're now working, making a career, you have your families, keep pushing forward and setting your sights on even higher goals. Because you know that's what Pop would want us to do. And I heard some of them say he was there to support most of the older grandkids and great-grands. He would be at the football games. He'd be there to support them. But then as he got older, he couldn't get up the football steps to the stadium. But guess what? Someone was at the game calling him. Someone was video recording. Someone was taking pictures. So don't think you all get off easy, the ones that are still in school, because Pop's not here, because he's watching over you. So you all got to go even harder and keep pushing forward, those of you that are still in school. Now listen, you all heard my daughter Deanna say she was the favorite. Yes, she was the favorite. But I'm just, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say this in a, a very serious way. Deanna. You are setting the stage for your cousins and your nieces and nephews that are coming behind you. You're on to your second level of education in a college university. Pop was proud of every one of you. He was proud of every one of you. Like you say, whether you heard it or not, if you go to their home, you see the wall of fame with all their pictures on the wall. So if you made the wall of fame, you knew you was good with Pop. So listen, if you're not on the wall yet, keep working hard so you can get up on the wall of fame. But to Deanna, you made a vow to pop to go get that college degree with that gold seal. Go for it, baby girl, because pop is with you always. 
You go finish the race and you get that degree, baby girl, because Pop is watching you and he's with you always. And you need to set the stage and keep it going so those behind you can keep going forward as well in their second level of education. Because family, we are stronger together. Together, we are strong. Now I wanna thank all the doctor's offices. It was Chin Medical Associates that care for our pop since he had his major surgery over 25 years ago. And most recently, the, the Vetus Team 1173 that was assigned to pop to render at home care. And to all our family and friends, the ones that are here today again, so many that came out on last night and throughout the week. We wanna thank God for each and every one of you. My church family, thank you. Walker's Temple Church of God in Christ, thank you. To my pastor, Pastor Kevin Owens, that was officiating, thank you. To everyone from Walker's Temple, thank you. The choir, everyone. Dr. Randy, thank you. He's actually from our district. Thank you for being here on today. We thank Greater New Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church for allowing us to be here on today. So to Greater New Macedonia and the Reverend Pierre, thank you for allowing us to be here on today. But we just want you all to know that the family's gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. We're not here to do a funeral, we're here to celebrate life. And for me to be able to stand here before you all and speak about my dad, this ain't easy, but I give God the glory for allowing me the strength to be up here on today. Hmm. And listen family, the funeral home just told us weeping may endure for a night, but joy will surely come in the morning. And although dad has closed his eyes to eternal rest, what lies before us again is just a shell of what God loaned to us. He was just loaned to us. We can't be selfish. Lord knows I wanted to be selfish, y'all. If anybody did, it was me. But because God loaned him to us, his soul is now resting. So let your tears be tears of joy. Don't weep because you think Pop is, you know, he's hurting or he went away hurting. Pop passed away peacefully in his sleep, in his recliner, watching TV. That's the best type of peace one can experience at home, at home, with my mom, with mom right there. So as my pastor said, it's no more doctor checkup because he wasn't in pain, so it's not one of those ones he fought a good fight. No, he lived a good life is what my pop did. It wasn't a fight. Hallelujah, he lived a good life. So no more appointments to have to remember because dad again up to his last breath was still in his right mind. He recognized all of us. He recognized neighbors from across the street. Thank God for Mr. Daniels who stayed right across from Pop. And he still would talk to my dad until he wasn't able to do it anymore. But listen, as I get ready to go back to my seat, let me just sum up the assessment of the final checklist of a great man amongst many men for Mr. Carl Wells Sr. A caring man, I'm gonna assess that as a complete with honors. A confident man, also complete with honors. A courageous man, we're gonna give him another complete with honors. A dependable man, come on now, complete with honors. A protector, now he gonna get a complete with double honors for being a protector and a provider. Oh yes, that's another one that's complete with double honors. Mr. Caldwell Sr., Dad, Pop, your assignment on this side is now complete. Job well done. Your final assessment grade is summa cum laude of eternal rest in heavenly peace. So take your rest, Pop, until we meet again. I honor you, we salute you, and we got your sugar foot, Mom. So rest on, Pop. We love you. Thank God for you. My daddy, my Pop. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on. Let's thank God for the word. Let's thank God for the word. Let's thank God for the word. Hallelujah. We're forever grateful. Hallelujah. On Wednesday, we will be doing the final resting place. And that's where we will do our committal. 
At this time, we're turning it over to the funeral home. We would like to thank you for taking the risk and coming out and being with us on this day to celebrate the life of Mr. Carl Wells Sr. Amen. Let's give the Lord another round of applause. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. Let's thank God. Into the hand. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. He lives again, and whosoever live and believe in me shall never die. Man that is born of a woman has but a few days and full of trouble. Cometh forth like a flower and is cut down. We brought nothing into this world and it is certain that we can carry nothing out. Will you the word of God in the army of the Lord? Will you the word of God in the army? I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Soldier in the army. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Soldier in the army. I am on the battlefield. In the army of the Lord. I am on the battlefield. In the army. I'm a soldier. In the army of the Lord. I know that I'm not a soldier. I'm on a soldier. In the army. I'm a soldier. In the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier. I will use the word of God in the army of the Lord. Woo! Use the word of God. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the army. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier in the I am on the battlefield. Woo! On the battlefield. I am on the battlefield. I am on the battlefield. I'm a soldier. In the army of the Lord. I'm a soldier. In the army. I'm a soldier. In the army of the Lord. Woo! Soldier. In the 